this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Since last time, I walked all the way back to Troya off screen. So, yeah, you had to walk all the way out of the tower, all the way back here. So, I figured I'd just take care of that. Hey, we got the Earth Crystal. I, I mean, uh, we got... But we made her into an Epopt. And her, even her class has changed, too. Her job class. So. Oh, what? Did you expect us to bring the thing back here? How are we supposed to do that? No. No, you just see it. So. Well, oh, there we go. Yeah, really? Holy cow. Does this Purim still know holy? That would have been useful back there. Yeah, how is she going to defend herself? What, with her bow and arrows? Yeah, that seems like kind of a rigorous trial for an Epopt. Or a white mage. Yeah, everything seems to be fine and dandy. Sugar and rainbows. Well, you have soldiers for that, don't you? Maybe you shouldn't hold on to it then. Give it to someone else. Let them defend it. Kind of a bad plan to give the crystal to a kingdom with no military. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. M maybe I'm the one that's crazy. Especially when you're right next to the power-hungry nation of the world. Well, that's just a rumor. I mean, okay, so they've taken one crystal, the the one from Fabul. I mean, Baron had nothing to do with the dark crystals getting stolen. Yeah, he's just tired. I, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Besides, it's not like the crystal got stolen in the first game, so they can't reference that. We can't have an exact repeat of what happened the last time. Because there's nothing to happen again. So they want to learn some black magic around here. I'll teach them that. Why not? Take you a little while, though. Might have wanted to learn about that, I don't know, in the last 17 years at some point. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But then again, I guess the people of this world are pretty naive. They thought that nothing bad would ever happen again, so they just dismantled all their militaries. Together? But there's only one bet. I mean, uh, good, good. Yeah, they got even a little save point here. Smells like women's restrooms. No, nah, no, nah, it's just a sterile environment. We even have a save point in the infer- <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, pound. We even have a save point in the infirmary, so that way if our patients die, we can just reload and try the surgery again. You do know the- the Spoonie Bard slept in that bed once before. Nah, we nah, we don't need to tell him. What were you gonna say? Nah, I'm sure it wasn't important. Nah, pay no attention to that. Oh, good night. Oh yeah, speaking of the night, I uh, what is it? I slept at the end to make it a waning moon for now. Yeah, you were, uh, kind of there. Yeah, pretty much. And we never saw him again. Well, we didn't. So what about the moon? What are we going to do now? Nothing's happening. 
Everything seems to be fine so far. Nah, we're, I'm an insomniac. We're saving the world, so... You, know, you can never wake me up in the middle of the night. What do you mean by that? How can a crystal be afraid? Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Well, yeah, I kind of checked it out before, and it seemed to be in one piece. I suppose we could save if we really wanted to. I wonder if we can just leave. Or do we need to check on the crystal first? I'm going to try to leave. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we can just leave and go back to town. Not that they have any... They don't have any more equipment, do they? I don't think they do. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, let's just go up to the crystal room then. I don't think anyone else says anything new. So, what's going on? Nuts. What do you mean by that? They could just be, I don't know, bringing flowers. Now well, that would be kind of hard to do. You got a whole fleet there. And you kind of put the crystal a straight shot to the back there. Why does everyone do that in their castle? Oh, okay. You'd figure they'd put the crystal, I don't know, in a secret underground chamber or something like that. Or somewhere more secure than just walk right through the front door and straight to the crystal room. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm not a home security expert. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it is just like the last time, huh? Yeah, just say the Dark Elf stole it again. Well, we did kind of kill him, but uh, there's another one. Just say that there's another guy. Oh, I can get you experience. No, not that kind of experience, you perverts. What does that even mean? Is that like an expression that I've never heard? Well, you said it now. Or that's what she said? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another expression. Uh, one of Torneco's expressions. The one they kept on using in Chapter 3 at Dragon Quest 4. Uh... I don't know. But anyway, let's get out of here then. Straight shot back to the en entrance. What do you mean? What's going on? Nuts. I can hear mysterious music. Crap, they got us. Well, might as well just hand it over to her. No way we can beat her. Yeah, pretty much. What do you mean, inferior? You seem human enough to me. Well, I guess she is kind of a summoner. Maybe that doesn't mean she's, uh, maybe not entirely human. I don't know. That's... What do you mean? There's no way out! Unless we go through a secret passage! No, not a hidden passage, a secret passage! Ah, okay. Did they even think of a full dungeon for us to go through? They did! Well, let's do the best we can. Let's get out of here. Seems kind of a roundabout way of uh, getting out of the castle, but... Well, okay, whatever works. But anyway, you go down here and go through another hidden passage. And here we get the ice arrows. Let's give those to Leonora there. That ought to do. At least they're a little nicer about the secret passages in this game. Okay, yeah, how's it going? Um, more like cooling off, but whatever. Oh. Yeah, they sell items here if you need them. First things first, I made it a waning moon 
So that way, when I first get into this place, I can make it into a new moon. Basically, I want a phase of the moon where the attack command and black magic are unaffected by the phase of the moon. So we can just go through relatively easily, no major disruptions or anything like that. But anyway, now well, we got tiny mages now. I don't think my magic would work too well on them. Let's try break. Let's see how that works. You suck, Palin! What happened to break? I remember that being a lot better. I don't think magic works too well on them, but, well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Oh, that did work pretty well. Oh, okay. Somehow I thought it didn't work very well. Uh, let's see. Let's go down here first. We got a few ways we can go. Don't worry about conserving your MP, as you saw to the left there. There's plenty of pots around here for healing, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. I mean, obviously, keep your HP up, but you can just use your spells indiscriminately, pretty much. Not really worry about it. But anyway, down here, we get... More weapons! Alright, let's see. You've got 14 strength. Gives you the great bow there. Now you've got 17 and another attack multiplier. And Palum, since the ice rod really isn't doing a whole lot, let's give him the lightning arrows and the crossbow there. Ooh, you're almost up to 16 strength. Alright. So he'll have another attack multiplier soon as well. Excellent. White magic is weakened under the new moon, but I really don't care about that. So, let's head on back then. Nice that they keep all this equipment around. In case we ever needed to escape. Oh, the Will Priest. I hate that guy so much. Okay, well, uh, Leonora, let's get back up there. Attack him. Hopefully we'll be able to kill the guy. Yeah, he has a lot of uh, counterattacks and such. But anyway. Oh, that was an electric fish? Oh, nice. Yeah, every time you attack him, he does that. Uh, let's try break this time. Maybe poison on the will face. Or we could just break them both. That works. I kind of like using poison on the will priest actually because he counterattacks everything you do. So if you use that on him and he just gets poisoned to death, then there's really not a whole lot he can do. So that makes life a lot easier. But he does have enough HP where you probably can't probably don't want to just wait around forever to wait for him to be poisoned to death. But, oh well. But anyway, okay, I think that's all the treasure we can get here. HP and MP restored. We're all set and ready to go. Oh. Somehow I thought, uh, okay. I thought we were going to end up somewhere else, but, uh, okay, we can start here. Why not? Kind of just threw me off there a little bit. We gotta find a way to get down into the water somehow. Ah, there we go. It's to the right there. I don't think there's any secret passages around here, so... But I do like how they throw in a new dungeon. Well, we already did go through a new one, but... Another new dungeon instead of just... Recycling all the old dungeons and such. Now let's use Blizzara and take out the guy in the back there. Oh, Blizzara should be good enough. Yes, there we go. Ooh, we're gaining levels like mad here. I wonder if they expect you to do some level grinding. It just kind of seems like it sometimes. Especially considering my levels relative to the enemies. And that's how they determine... Like, back attacks, things like that. Ah, uh, let's see... Okay, we're safe on Thundara. There's no Electrofish here. I don't know what the Ricardo Mage does, but I'm probably going to kill it before we find out. Or maybe not. Okay, well, he doesn't summon anyone. Okay, he just uses statuses on us, I guess, or something. Kind of expected him to summon more of those fish or something like that. Maybe he's a fisherman. Who knows? Okay, looks like we've made it to the halfway point. But can we escape from the mysterious girl? Where do we go if we do? 
What about Magnet Man stage? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!